Hello and welcome to Bullying RV. My name is Tristan and today I feel like I am just on top of the world. However, I am just on top of a ladder to give you guys a nice point of view of the brand new 2022 Grand Design Trans Transcend Explorer 261BH. Now, while I'm up here, as you can see, you got a nice big awning right there. Got a gigantic solar power right there. There's your Furion AC. You got Weingard Air 360 in case you want to get some Wi-Fi out during your next camping trip. You also have plenty of roof vents and a walkable roof. Over there, you also have a ladder, which we'll see once I climb down from here. Otherwise, this unit comes in at just about 31 feet long, weighing 6,078 6, pounds dry. Excuse me. Starting up front here, got a nice large pass-through storage, approximately 43 cubic feet worth. This unit sits on not only tires, but you got four manual jacks that you can put down. Up front here, you got the nice big symmetrical Transcend logo with the T for Tristan. And below that, you got a nice rock guard that seamlessly transitions from that front. You got two 20 pound propane tanks, your power jack tongue, and of course, with all purchases here at Blue and RV, we will give you that battery. Otherwise, again, you got a nice sleek side right here. Here's the other side of your pass through storage, which as you'll see, has motion sensor lights. There's actually quite a few of those throughout the unit. However, I just have them turned on, so they're constantly on. Here's your satellite cable hookup, your battery disconnect, tank fills, and then up top, you do have your 20 amp solar charge controller. Moving on down, you have your gray water dump tank right here. I believe that is from the kitchen. Otherwise, here's your slide that's gonna house plenty of things we'll talk about once we get to the inside. Otherwise, as I was teasing on, teasing on the ladder over there, here is your ladder that you can get onto the roof in case you gotta do some spot seals or check anything out. Otherwise, here's gonna be your other gray and black dump tank access right here. Sitting on four tires, nitrogen filled with pretty cool black rims in there. I believe those are aluminum. Got your 30 amp shore power. Backside, you have a full size spare tire your gas electric hot water heater with a spray port da -da -da. and also you're wired for a backup camera and then here are going to be the windows to your bunks and as you'll notice it's going to be easier to do out here both of these can open so it doesn't matter if you're top bunk bottom bunk you can get some fresh air with that open otherwise coming to the show side of this unit again here we're under the awning with our outdoor speakers light and we also have an outdoor kitchen. Got a two burner gas stove top right here and a mini fridge for all of your beverages to put in there. A little bit of storage right here, if you can see that. There is your tank fill. Again, you got outlets out here in case you want to plug in and also a outlet in case you want to watch TV up here. Single entrance right here. Three steps, nice big grab handle. First thing before I even get in, got a bit of a mudroom right here. So throw your shoes in there. Again, this is a bunkhouse. So if you got a family, got all your shoes, you got animals and they have shoes, throw them all right there. Your keys, your wallet, toss that in here. Don't want to lose it in the meantime. Plenty of counter space right here. Otherwise, here is the panoram of the unit. Again, here's your slide. We'll start there. Get your Furion fridge freezer. And then you also have to the right, Furion microwave and Furion oven and free burner gas stove top. With that solar panel, that's gonna help keep this guy running if you're not connected to shore power. Otherwise, to the left of that, you have your theater style seats. So when you wanna, well, when you want to sit down and relax a little bit more and recline and watch movie late at night, you have it right there. However, when you wanna watch, when you wanna eat breakfast in the morning and sit more functionally, you have seats right here. And then with those animals, whether they're kids or dogs or cats or turtles, if you want to run the fabric, you can reverse these seat pads. Got more storage down below here. Nice drawers. And then again, if you're not going to sleep people, not only in the bunks, but you can also sleep them here at the dinette. And I have all the shades down, just so when I take pictures, you can see a little bit better. However, you have plenty of windows in case you want to get some more natural light in here and look out at your campsite, which today is the 
shop in the back of Bullion RV. Technically in like May 19, something like that. Here are your double bunks, in case you're sleeping kids or adults, plenty of space to do that. And like I was saying earlier, you do have windows back there to get some nice airflow in here. Light up top, reading light, and then another one right there. And you do have your own privacy curtains, so the campers in the back want to sleep in, they have the right to do so. You can shut the shade to block out some of that sun as well. And here is the storage for those bunks. Here's your bathroom. You got a porcelain. You can hear that. I can't even. Here we go. I hit my watch on it. Still not married, so it's got to wear cool things like watches in the meantime, I guess. But to figure out, you've got a porcelain toilet. You have that right there. Here's your linen closet. Here is your shower. Very spacious. Again, I'm not the largest person in the world. However, even with my massive wingspan, I'm just barely topping out right there. Otherwise, flipping the script, here is your sink. Plenty of space again, I'm using the restroom. Storage below and also above in the medicine cabinet. I'm coming out of here. Again, plenty of space to entertain your family, your friends. And then in terms of cooking, you're cornered right here. So fortunately, people aren't going to necessarily get in your way because they'll either be sitting down or walking throughout. Last but not least, again, you have your master bedroom. You got wardrobes on either side above storage. Little headrest back there. Outlets also on either side. Both these windows open so you can get a cross flow of air if you'd like. Storage below. And again, I'm a male in his mid 20s. Let me tell you, this bedspread, I would never notice anything, but this actually looks pretty cool. Otherwise, in this unit, you got another one of those ceiling vents right there, your TV backer over there. And if you want to get away from your guests, once you remove that tab over there, you can slide this shut and get away just a little bit more so than you would with it open. Otherwise, your heat's going to be ducted throughout the unit along with your AC. This is going to be your control center. You have an enclosed and heated underbelly, or I should say your tanks, your water heaters. And then your kitchen again. I kind of pass over this, but you have an abundance of storage up here between below the sink and above it. Otherwise, I'm not going to walk outside because we have a bit of a crew of people out there, so I'll finish the video in here. Again, this is the 2022 Grand Design Transcend Explore 261BH. If that's not easy to say, I don't know what is. My name is Tristan. If you, want, if you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call at 507-923-5675. Always have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.